in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to code a live weather app using React.js. First thing you want to do is create a new React.js app using npx create a react app. Next, we'll go into that folder and open this up in VS Code. Here, we're going to set up the local server using npm run start. And this is going to open up a website on localhost 3000. Let's go to app.js and delete this boilerplate code. Now I'm just gonna add a H1 weather app. All right, let's go to openweathermap.org and get our free API key. Copy this and we'll be pasting this inside of a JavaScript object. We're going to define this API object and set key is equal to the key that we just created. And then base URI is going to be this uh, URI that we're going to fetch from. Here's an outline of the program using comments. We're going to have a header, a search box, uh, the current location, the temperature, and also conditions. For the search box, we'll be using an input tag with type is equal to text, and then placeholder will be enter your city or town. For location, we're going to use a P tag and hard code the location for now. And then all the rest are going to be also P tags. We're now going to need to hold the state of the current search term. We'll be doing this using the use state to react hook. So we'll say const search and then set search is equal to use state. And initially this is going to be an empty string. And here we're importing use state from react. Now we're going to say on change, take this event and set search to event.targets.value for the input box. We'll also need to create a button which is going to call this uh, fetch method. So we'll say search button right here and then we're going to put the input and button inside of a div so that it looks better inside of the button we'll have an on click events listener which is going to call this search press function that we're about to create say const search pressed equals no parameters and for now we're just going to console log and see what comes out for uh, when we press on this now that we know the button is working let's print out the search term to make sure that we're getting the right input from the input box so here I type in Boston and there we go, there's our search term. Now we're going to create this fetch method. Um, fetch is going to be this formatted URI. So it's going to be base URI followed by weather. And we're looking for this search query. We're going to put this in as search. And then we'll use units equals metric, but you could put imperial. And then we also need to specify our app ID, which is going to be api.key. We're going to get the results back and turn it into a JSON object using the JSON method. 
After that, we're going to get our results. And for now, let's just console log and see what we're getting back when we search something. So I'm gonna go right here and search Boston. And here we get back this JSON object. We see we have all these different properties we can access like name is Boston, weather, we have wind, main, main, this is where the temperature is going to come from. So now we need to store this JSON object inside of our app. We're going to do something similar to the search term. We're going to set weather and set weather. Initially, this is going to be an empty object. And then here we'll set weather to be equal to this results that we just got back. We can now access this inside of our app. We'll say weather dot name. This is going to give the name that we just searched. So there's Boston. And then for temperature, we're going to say weather dot weather dot main dot temp. It's going to be the temperature. For the condition, we will say weather dot weather. We're going to get the first element and then say dot main. And then for description, we'll just say, instead of main, we'll say dot description. We're now going to test out our application by typing in various cities around the world. Here's New York. We have Dubai, Hong Kong, Mumbai, London, Paris, Moscow, Cape Town. Everything looks like it's working. But we do have one problem. If we reload the page, we get this undefined error. So what we have to do is check to make sure that weather.main does not equal undefined. Here we'll be using a ternary operator. We'll say type weather.main does not equal undefined. And then we'll have a true and a false condition. If it's false, we're not going to print anything. And if it's true, we're going to take all of this code that we've written and put it on the true part. Our program is now working. If you find anything that I missed, please leave it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and also join our Discord. We'll be hosting weekly events in there.